In this video, I'm going to show how to use the wood chipper from Harbor Fry Tools to um, chip some wood for the um, for mulch. So we are living kind of a little bit far from the city, um, so it's not that easy to get wood chips in the property. At least we don't know how, because uh, in the city we can just see uh, when our neighbors are doing landscape, and we just go talk to the um, to the landscape guys and ask them to dump the wood chips in our driveway, and they are more than happy to do that. But over here, the neighbors are far apart, and uh, we have been here for uh, about a month. We have not seen anyone doing landscape, and I would think that we just randomly run into some people doing uh, landscaping and get wood chips. The chance is pretty small. Uh, and also, we have quite a lot of trees in this property. We want to be self-sufficient, so the best way to get wood chips seems to be um, is to cut the lower branches of the trees and uh, you uh, chip those tree, uh, tree branches for, for mulch. So that's why we got the wood chipper from uh, Hub Fry Tours during the Labor Day sales. So we're going to set that up and we'll do some chipping right. today. So how do we do this? Um... Okay, so we got this baby here. Um, this is the first time we're using it. So um, first thing I need to do is check the oil. And of course it's empty. So um, I need to uh, add some oil to the engine. So I guess the uh, this one is the engine oil inlet is over here, which is kind of a little bit hard to reach. So that's why we have this funnel that is perfect. And, and I believe it's 0 0.6 liters of engine oil, 10W30. So the measurement right now is about four liters. So I guess I need to turn this. Okay. Yeah. All right. So I get some help over here. So we put the fuel in the um, the oil in the engine. So next step is to add the fuel and uh, make sure that you add the right um, stabilizer in the gas tank before we put it in there. So we already did that in the add the step stabilizer in the gas tank. So now we can just add that to the tank over here. Uh, 
That's heavy. Okay. My menu here. Okay, my swatcher is all the way to the start. This guy need to be on. This need to be one third of the speed, and the, the engine is on. Okay, for uh, this guy, should I wear my and let's get these guys out of here. Cool. It's on. Yeah, you pull it twice to prime it and then you pull it hard. Okay, so we got the wood chipper started, and uh, since it's a new, a brand new. It need to have a break in period of two to three hours. So we're moving here to um, trying to clean up the wood so that once the break in is done, we can start to do some chipping. So the wood chippers have basically two inlets. One is for branches that uh, uh, half half inch diameter or smaller uh, that goes to in the hopper, and uh, then uh, there's another inlet that uh, for branches up to three inches. So what I'm doing here is to um, separate the branches and uh, clean it. So like this one is kind of borderline, and but to be safe, I probably will fit it into that um, the one that are for bigger branches. So for um, but even for the harper, uh, like this, you have lots of side branches, so that wouldn't go. So I will just chop it off, and uh, so that we have pretty clean branches that. Uh, pretty clean branch that can go into the 
um, the hopper and uh, so that things will go smoothly. So it looks like I have a lot of work to do to clean it up, sort it out. And once the chipper is breaking in, probably we'll have to do it tomorrow. It's almost uh, sunset already. So we'll let that run to break in tonight. And then tomorrow morning, um, I come here, clean out all the branches, and uh, we start that guy and uh, do some chipping tomorrow.
So this is the the pile of mulch we got with three, four hours of chipping using the wood chipper from Harbor Fry Tools. I would say that uh, among these three or four hours, we have to refill the ones and also have to uh, resolve a jamming uh, ones. So, um, but this is our first time using it, so that's not bad. I would say that um, to have some guy to dump a truckload of mulch uh, wood chips on your driveway is a much easier way, uh, but over here we might, might not have that luxury. So I'm glad that uh, the wood chipper worked out pretty well. Um, so we're going to use this uh, for the kind of Garden of Eden type of uh, um, gardening. The vegetable garden I covered up with uh, a tarp, so next the week after next week, we're going to remove the tarp, clean it out, and then put this on top of it. Probably seed some seeds and put this on top of it. So we'll keep you updated. Um, if you have any questions or comments, leave it down below. If you like to follow our journey with the East-West farm, please hit the subscribe button.